Hello everybody, today we are replacing noisy fans on MSI gaming laptop. That's a model uh, GF75. So you can hear how this works now. So that qualifies for replacement, definitely. Let's so we have to start with all the bottom screws. Luckily, all the screws have the same size, so you don't have to put them in any order. Okay. Now let's separate the bottom. Once we have the bottom out, don't forget to disconnect the battery. All right, once the battery is disconnected, now we have to take off the heat sink. So let's disconnect fan from the motherboard and the other one too. Now let's unscrew the screws for the fan. Now let's gently lift the heat sink. We cannot bend it. Oh, there's one more screw here. Don't bend the heat sink when you do that because then it won't work anymore. Yeah, it may be stuck to the graphics card or the processor because of the cooling paste. So be gentle. Okay, now the video cable is rooted here, so we have to disconnect it.
All right, now we're gonna take out the heat sink fan. And now we have to unscrew the these tiny screws because the, our replacement fan goes from underneath. So let's take out these screws. Okay, so that's our new fan. Let's screw it back here. Now we'll do the same for the second fan. And our second fan goes like that. Let's clean the heat sink while we have it open. Okay, now we're gonna be putting this back on the motherboard. Let's add the cooling paste. Cooling paste is pretty fresh on those chips, so we will be adding just a little bit more to make sure that the cooling is working properly. Okay, now let's mount the heat sink. Let's don't forget to root the video cable.
So let's plug the video cable before we screw the heatsink back on the motherboard. Now we can plug the fan. Okay. Now let's plug the second fan. Now screw back all the screws for the fan and the heat for the heat sink. Yeah, and the fan. And now the actual fan screws. So let's plug the battery in and let's start the laptop and see how it works. The battery is pretty weak, so I will connect it to the power. Fan is working quiet as it should. So now we can put the back cover, the case bottom on. And that's finished. So that's the last step, putting the case bottom back on. First, make sure that, oh, let's start with this side because we have those ports here. And now put the screws back on.
And that's it, Haptok is fixed. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.